Oh, Mr. Holmes, while you were out, a gentleman called to see you and left this. He asked you to give it to me? Oh, no, sir. He just left it by mistake, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Mortimer. He didn't leave his name, sir. No, it's here on the stick, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, is it? I didn't notice. Do you know any Dr. Mortimer, Watson? Huh? What did he want? He didn't say, sir. What do you make of it, Watson? Why should I make anything of it? The fellow came to see you. Ah, but what kind of a fellow? Let me hear you reconstruct him from his walking stick by our usual method of elementary observation. Well, I should say that Dr. Mortimer is a successful man, well esteemed. Good, excellent. I should say that he does a great deal of his visiting on foot because the iron ferrule is, is worn down. Perfectly sound. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this inscription. From his friends of the CCH. CCH. I should say that's the something or other hunt. Really, Watson, you've excelled yourself. <laughs> Has anything escaped me? Almost everything, my dear fellow. Huh? A present to a doctor, I'd say, is more likely to come from a hospital than a hunt. And when the letters CC are placed before the hospital, the name Charing Cross Hospital rather obviously presents itself. Oh, well, you, you may be right. Furthermore, I'd say the Dr. Mortimer had a small practice in the country and was the owner of a dog. How can you tell that? Quite simple. From the teeth marks. Look, you can see for yourself. A rather large dog, I'd say. And unless I'm mistaken, Dr. Mortimer will call on us again in a few moments. Rubbish, Holmes. Rubbish. How the devil can you deduce that? Well, as he left his stick, isn't it reasonable to presume that he'll come back and get it? Dr. Mortimer, sir. 